All right, so the gameplay video, this is my first game ever as the Houndmaster right now. I brought in Amori, and I'm taking myself to the uh, Mount Ormond Lake Mine. Let's have a look. I actually, so I saw the videos on Twitter, but I, I haven't actually seen the map for myself. So this will be like a much more HD version of it for me. We're pretty much just going to spam our power, and like the four survivors are the new survivor. She does have voice lines. Awesome, I have a dog. So if I just do switch command, I can search or chase. I can toggle between, so... Go! Holy... Alright, he didn't get anything. This map seems pretty small, unless I'm not looking at it right. Okay, actually, it extends out this way. So let's do search. This is a search. And I could place this. This kind of reminds me of a nurse blink. Uh. Interesting. Okay. M1 animation. Pallet break animation. That looked pretty standard. You can go inside here. Let's have a peek. Wow, the inside. This looks like the main building. So if I want to search this, I can search. The, can he break the gen? No. Okay, so let's do chase here. Go. Okay. So I think I just hit them after that. Chase again. Okay, so you actually have to hit them. It's sort of like a projectile you have to hit them with. <laughs> Looks like he can bypass pallets. We have a skirt chuck. I want to see if he can bypass pallets, actually, with Chase. Let's double check. So that's the gem with the most progress, actually. I think is what the skirt uh, perk does. So you can jump over. It kind of looks like Dracula's wolf jumping over um, vaults. If we actually catch them in a chase, they are hindered. It's kind of like a pinhead chain, it looks like. Let's just have a peek. Yeah. And they don't actually lose a health state, I don't think. You can see activity in the HUD as well, indicating that... Okay, they actually do not lose a health state, but this, this, uh, there's an icon in the HUD showing that they were latched onto by the dog while in the chase mode. What does search do? Holy shit, you can go down here, cool. Search. What happens now? Killer instinct if they're on the path. Chase. So we stop them from getting to kill a shot god palette. That's kind of cool. I dig it, I dig it. So, how valuable is search? Let's see, so I kind of see his survivors are over here. Let's go there, find them. Yeah, they kind of have to be directly on the path, because I only got killer instinct for the one literally that was on the path. You know what I mean? They went into deep wound status effect just then, too. Okay, so let's do a chase. Get him. Okay, actually, that nearly missed. So, both the chase and the search, like, it has to pretty much hit the survivor. Direct, direct hit on the path. I do need to get some hooks so I can see the Mori. So the dog kind of just follows me around and is sort of like an AI feature. So it's kind of reminding me of a couple killers already now. Damn. Range, I just out of range. I have not actually looked at the add-ons yet, so maybe the add-ons increase the range of both the chase and the search. I want to look at this animation again now. Got him. So once they're actually attacked by the dog in the chase mode, they kind of does again remind me of like a Cenobite chain. It does seem like sort of a ranged attack and sort of an AI helping you, sort of like uh, the knight a little bit. Can we actually go all the way back here with this? So he's gonna go back there. Okay, so during this it looks like during the searches, he can't really go over the vaults or pallets, but during the uh, the chase, he can. 
So the chase, he can go over the pallet, or the vaults. But for the search, he he really can. He kind of just takes the shortest route without going over a vault or a pallet. Can I do the same route if I put him, say, right here? He will not go through the vaults. Okay. That's cool. I wonder if the survivors can tell which one I'm actually calling out for, a search or a chase. If they can tell, then they can uh, use that information that I can't go through a vault or a pallet in the middle of the chase, if they can distinguish between the two. I want this to be a chase. So if I know where they are, I should probably use a chase, I would think. That was super close. Awesome. Let's get that Mori. Let's go. Nice. It looks so brutal when she steps right on the survivor's face with the heel, I have to say. Let's take a peek at the exit gates if the survivors give us a chance to. Okay, very nice. The hatch just opened right next to me. Nice. We're actually, we are also a little hindered when we actually latch on to um, survivor. I'm just going to close this because... I would like to just look at the other gate real quick. Let's just walk around the map for a little bit and just see see the sights. Apparently this is not necessarily coming onto live servers, but it's just kind of a PTB thing. That looks like the icon of the actual map itself. This dog's panting a lot. Interesting. This gives me like the thing, the thing vibes. Wait a minute. I thought this was the uh, the room from the casting of Frank Stone. The first one of the first scenes is at this is at the murder mill, but it's not murder mill, I guess. But it, the office kind of looked like it. But there's no way this is part of uh, murder mill. This was not attached to the chapter at all. Okay, let's see the final Mori. Let's go, dude. Something's wrong with her face, I think. Maybe it's a lighting thing. I don't know. Anyways, GG's. That was my first game as uh, the Houndmaster. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you think this killer is really strong? It seems like there's a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, she has the ability to track and she has the ability to um, kind of use her, her dog to chase and um, reduce the movement speed of survivors or, or like get them trapped by the dog to get a free hit. Um, there's not a lot of map mobility, but there is some anti-loop and information um, associated with her base kit power, it seems. She seems okay, but the fact she doesn't have great map mobility necessarily, I don't think she's like a top, top killer, but still an interesting concept. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. That does it for this video. Goodbye.